we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle, some things are within our control, and some things are not. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. There is only one way to happiness and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. Keep silence for the most part, and speak only when you must, and then briefly. If you wish to be a writer, write. No man is free who is not master of himself. No great thing is created suddenly. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. If anyone is unhappy, remember that his unhappiness is his own fault. Nothing else is the cause of anxiety or loss of tranquility except our own opinion. We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. The world turns aside to let any man pass who knows where he is going. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. When you are offended at any man's fault, turn to yourself and study your own failings. Then you will forget your anger. It is not events that disturb the minds of men, but the view they take of them. Books are the training weights of the mind. Know, first, who you are, and then adorn yourself accordingly. Circumstances don't make the man, they only reveal him to himself. Progress is not achieved by luck or accident, but by working on yourself daily. Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. No matter what happens, it is within my power to turn it to my advantage. The greater the difficulty the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. It is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. Every difficulty in life presents us with an opportunity to turn inward and to invoke our own submerged inner resources. The trials we endure can and should introduce us to our strengths. It is the nature of the wise to resist pleasures, but the foolish to be a slave to them. An ignorant person is inclined to blame others for his own misfortune. To blame oneself is proof of progress. But the wise man never has to blame another or himself. Man is not fully free unless he is master of himself. From this instant on, vow to stop disappointing yourself. Separate yourself from the mob. Decide to be extraordinary and do what you need to do, now. You are a little soul carrying around a corpse. Man is troubled not by events, but by the meaning he gives them. Only the educated are free. Don't demand or expect that events happen as you would wish them do. Accept events as they actually happen. That way, peace is possible. No great thing is created suddenly. There must be time. Give your best and always be kind. It is not things in themselves which trouble us, but our opinions of things. You have been given your own work to do. 
get to it right now, do your best at it, and don't be concerned with who is watching you. Create your own merit. The beginning of philosophy is a consciousness of your own weakness and inability and necessary things. Fortify yourself with contentment, for this is an impregnable fortress. Suffering arises from trying to control what is uncontrollable, or from neglecting what is within our power. On the occasion of every accident that befalls you, remember to turn to yourself and inquire what power you have for turning it to use. Practice yourself, for heaven's sake in little things, and then proceed to greater. We can't control the impressions others form about us, and the effort to do so only debases our character. The essence of philosophy is that a man should so live that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. Seek to be the purple thread in the long white gown. If anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what is said of you but answer, he was ignorant of my other faults, else he would not have mentioned these alone. Desire and happiness cannot live together. What disturbs people's minds are not events but their judgments on events. Happiness and personal fulfillment are the natural consequences of doing the right thing. Never say of anything I have lost it, only say that I have given it back.